Hey folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 as Sweden. We consider continue our battle, our holy crusade, well it's not an actual crusade, the cleansing of the heresy against um, Brandenburg. Win another battle there. Still no ticking war score. I mean, some of these are pretty insignificant, but it should still act. I don't know. I don't know how this system works. Whoa! You actually have some numbers there. Tell you what, let me regroup my army over here. Oh, that's a Polish military. Interesting. Arrived here, we've now got our plus three besieging artillery, which is nice. Do, 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 do. Siege of Wittenberg. Driving Potsdam. So, once we have a full siege of Brandenburg, given five years, we will get 100% war score in this war. I'm hoping it doesn't last quite that long. I don't actually need... Ooh, you're going to fight the English, aren't you? I don't actually need a 100% war score. I don't need a 100% war score worth of stuff from Brandenburg. I'm a little concerned, actually. Did I not? Oh, I've, I've completed that siege. Okay, let's just group up here and get ready to pounce on these monks. Merge up, detach, go here. Any chance of catching them? 29th? No. But I can do this. Ah, uh, you're going to backtrack. Well, let's tell you what. We're going to kill the two stack. Let you commit over here, and then we'll reinforce. So we're going to wait until the third. You're still coming? Yep. There we go, the third. Excellent. We'll just turn around. We could play it super safe. Detach a siege there and go and attack that. Massive numbers in our favor. Brunswick is done... Stuff going on over here. Pew, pew, pew. Nice. Did we wipe them? We did stack wipe them as well. We still don't have the uh, the ticking war score that we need, but that's all right. Uh, we've got to wait for the battle to resolve itself. Detach a siege. Uh, this stack is a little large, I think. So what we'll do is we'll move down into Saxony, and then we'll split between Saxony and Thuringen. Although, I say that, and really, I'm, I'm remembering I want to take... Uh, East Friesia and Oldenburg might be nice, because we can actually separate piece them, and um, it's some good territory. We're going to lose a battle over there, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to fix that. And I, I really want to get my ticking war goal, war score stuff. This is Bohemia. We can separate piece out Bohemia, but I'm not sure that we're going to be in a position where we'll get any sort of sexy peace possibilities, but we'll take a look. Now, I wonder, is it possible that only battles against the war leader provide me the um the chance to show superiority i don't know oh we won that over there great let's go ahead and chase them into east frisia we kind of have a bit of a derpy composition but it's not terrible and they're gonna have no morale um i'm gonna have to stop moving around with the 40k stack over here i think good we won that should i split this and do this sure why not Go to Saxony. Got all those sieges or all those blockades. We've got the plus three there. Fort level is pretty beefy in Mecklenburg. It's gonna take a long time to siege them down, and we've had to reset it a couple of times. But for good reason. Um, here's what I'm gonna do: split, move half you over here. Here, I'm going to detach a siege and then run into Wittenberg and see what we can kill. Oop! There we are. I can any chance I can eventually catch these guys? Probably not. Split. Then send some of you guys here, which will reset you. It means we should be able to catch you. There we go. Just like that. We'll skirmish there, which we should win. Austria is currently busy fighting the Ottomans, which has pulled them away from us and also out of France. It's interesting that uh, the uh, Austrians are more concerned with the Ottomans than anything else, but it makes me extremely happy because we can siege a bunch of territory. We can win a bunch of these little battles, hopefully, A, get some war score just from that, B, hopefully unlock our ticking war score, which is which is getting there. Um, and finally, um, we can also just siege a bunch of this stuff, which means they can't reinforce, they don't get the money, they might have to disband some things. All that kind of jazz. Oh, we won't catch those guys. Who else is an enemy over here? 
Utrecht, which probably not worth worrying about. So I'll go ahead. I'll just siege out Bohemia itself because we can separate peace out Bohemia. And if we have their capital, they're going to be that much more inclined to do it. Um, okay. You can do this and then come right back. Squish him. Because Bohemia still has high war exhaustion. They've got their capital. They're happy about that. A little squishing there. Good. Okay, we are capped on military. Oh, okay. And it's January, which means our cost has gone down. So I can actually go ahead and afford this, which I will do. I'm still hoping to get military ideas, but for now it's going to be worthwhile. How much is it going to spend? 924. Yeah, we really did need to wait until January and the 999. I'm happy I, I noticed it before February, though. And we're going to get more cavalry shock and 50% higher force limit or supply limit. That's probably going to be handy as I walk around with all these giant stacks. Now, I think that's only in my territory, but still. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Or Poland, I would really like to have. Can I separate piece out Poland or were they? I can. Oh, that's beautiful. And Lithuania wants that. That's interesting. Because that would be pretty sexy, actually. Start to work on that coast. In particular, if I could give some of this terrain back to the Teutonic Order. There's a lot less aggressive expansion than that. Are you going to come to... You're coming to Urz. Really? Oh. Really could have uh, reacted right then, instantly. Go ahead and reinforce. The Hamburgian army is going to reinforce as well. So this should be fine. We don't have a military leader here, which is actually what's costing us at the moment. Hopefully we'll get there on time. There we go. Superior numbers. They've got the minus one. We should have decent stats, and we do... Array for discipline and tactics. I don't have a discipline leader, do I? Actually, I do. Yeah, it's making a big difference. Meanwhile, how's Scotland doing? All right. 11 years away from being annexed. Mm -hmm. Pretty close to another diplomatic idea, but I suspect we're going to be spending a lot of diplo points negotiating some complex peace deals over here. So I don't think we're actually going to get that much. Bohemia is running. Now, is Bohemia going to be limited to escaping to Bohemia? Like, are they going to go here? Is that possible? Wow, these are all cannons. Hold on. Never mind, just stay there. Fine. Mecklenburg is ticking. That's ticking. Um, oh, I could maybe do something like this. That might be a little too crazy. Detach and send some extra troops over here to defend a possible front. England is doing things. I'd much prefer that they actually grabbed Stettin. Or rather, I should tell um I should tell the Teutonic Order that they should really siege Marienburg. That would be very nice. Could you do that, please? He did go over there. My gosh. If I just moved the cannons, that probably would have been enough to kill them. I think they're still going to be around when these guys show up, though. They've got no leader, but I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. They also have a bit of a derpy composition, but it's okay. On the Siege of Anhalt. Great. Why don't you go ahead and move down here? In fact, you are in friendly territory, oh, but we don't have a leader kicking around, so never mind. Smoosh. Bam. All right. Hey, wh well, maybe we should just rush Vienna. Yeah, I like keeping my people together. These are pretty small stacks as is, actually. Being a bit cavalier with things. Austrians could come through here and really sweep us up. Uh, oh, my military leader died. Oh, man, they're all level three, which I can't afford right now. That it sucks losing that 5% discipline bonus. That thing was a powerhouse. Lithuania doing a good job. Inflicting some beat down on Poland. Uh, yes, I would like to renew the war taxes. Mm -hmm. We're so far ahead in military tech. Doesn't hurt us that much to spend a few points to do it. Um, and... I'll move that. Mostly, actually. Literally, I just want to move... Um, is one cannon enough to get a bonus? Yes. So, we're going to select this army. Detach one healthy cannon. And move the rest of them into Bohemia itself. Just to siege that. I assume Bohemia is the capital of Bohemia. Yeah. Pretty funny if it weren't. That's a nice reinforcement, which is going to be great. One another siege, which is lovely. Tell you what, I will move up maybe to Stettin with these guys. Siege progress. There we go. We got the plus three, which is good. Lunenburg is done, which is excellent. I think what I'm actually going to do is move some dudes over into Oldenburg over here, just to make it a little harder for them to go and bust us there. Uh, not going to spend the admin tech yet. We're still hoping to do some uh, coring. Did we? We reached 100%? Oh, 
Has it been five years already? No. How come we're at 100%? I'm quite surprised. Don't necessarily want to peace out quite yet, though. What's my war score with Poland, specifically? 24%. That ain't bad. It wouldn't give me war Poland. Or Poland. Um, but, so we're going to keep going for now anyway. I'm a little concerned that we're going to start getting a um, call for peace soon, because we're at 100%. We'll see. I don't think it should happen yet, especially since we haven't actually reached our, our literal war goal of show superiority. I think that is part of the uh, the math. Okay, we're not at risk anywhere here. Austria is still in three wars. You're still in three wars. You're in Stettin, which is nice. Grabbing Danzig would also be quite beautiful. I'll put that as another objective for um, the Teutonic Order. Uh... I can afford to lose prestige right now, because we are winning a bunch of battles, which are quite prestigious, but we can live without it. I really want Mecklenburg. I can't separate peace out Austria, though, so that'll have to be a part of the peace deal that I get from Brandenburg itself. That is not a concern. Lithuania being great help. Um, I'm going to attack Neumark over here, will you? Well, I'm going to detach. Send some troops over this way. Mostly cannons. But that should be okay. Wait for them to commit. I think they've committed. So I'll just run in there and help out. East Frisia. Good! I'm just going to have you go and sit in Oldenburg then. Make sure that goes okay. We still have a level 1 military advisor. Unfortunately. Mm, that's a nice flattening there by the Hamburgians. Mmm, hamburger. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. We can build things. I don't think I'm going to... We can get an idea. No, I need to save my Diplo points to actually negotiate some complex peace deals. Oh, almost lost that battle. Reinforced England just in time. See that, England? See what happens when you're my buddy. I don't want to fight you anymore. England, I don't want to fight. Um, Taking the Polish capital, which is where these days... Oh, there it is. Okay. It is in Warsaw, and um, it has been sieged, which is good. Is this all Poland? No, that's Hungary. Oh, Poland's pretty small. I didn't realize Poland has been gotten eaten away so much. It's probably going to disappear at some point. East Frisia wants to peace out. That's an excellent question, though. I'm not sure what kind of peace I want to negotiate yet, East Friesland. I may... I may just eat you guys directly. It's hard, though, because... I've only got so many admin points to go around. Obviously, aggressive expansion is a little bit of a concern, but not that much. These coalitions have proven to be pretty manageable. Um, I think it would be quite nice to, for me to just own these two provinces. Are they in a trade node that I care about? Is a great question. Yes, they're both in the Lubeck trade node. And you are a Ernst Estuary. So yeah, I would like to have you for trade power. Mecklenburg isn't, but gives me actual adjacency to some Polish stuff over here, which is kind of convenient. It also hurts Austria. Always makes me very happy. Um, Austria is back? That's a little concerning. That is. I mean, we're going to start to have to organizing our, our stuff together soon. I think it's going to be worth me going over and smashing this, for example. You're going to go attack over there. I'll accept this engagement. You shouldn't be really able to reinforce too much. Looks like Lithuania is actually going to be attacked. I think now's the time for me to detach some of these things. I'm so close to finishing a siege, though. You're going to get there on the 26th. You're going to leave on the 3rd. And you're going to Breslau over here, which should be fine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grouping up, actually. Because we're going to have to win another big battle against Austria. But we're so close to completing these sieges that I just don't... I don't want to just break the sieges. That would be bad. Alright. Oh, I meant to reinforce a little bit sooner. Okay. Oh, the battle was engaged over there. Detach. We'll reinforce. You have no leader. 
but we've got some extra people around. We should be okay. You're actually, your job is to go directly there. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. We might be okay here without my reinforcements, and I could have sent them directly down there, but we're okay. We've got some pretty superior numbers going on, but it looks like Lithuania will lose. Uh, looks like they've been slowed down is the problem. Won the Battle of Brunswick. I'm going to send these guys back here to babysit that. Still want to let this siege go as quickly as possible. But I think it makes sense at this point to go and join the war on the front. So I think that battle will be lost, but we should be able to catch the Austrian army without not much there. On the other hand... On the other hand, I don't know. It might be okay. Yeah, looks like it was one. Oh, wonderful. Um, so the question now is how much do I want to focus on going into um, Poland? Not that much. On the Siege of Saxony, lovely. Do need to smash those guys. I guess let's walk over this way. Morovia, they might be running right to their capital, and other than the fact we don't have a leader in this, that becomes very tempting. It's also woods. But it depends on how many people they've got kicking around. I don't I think it would be stupid to attack without a leader. But we could assemble a slightly larger army. On the Siege of Thuringia, nice. We probably have an idle leader. No, we don't. Really? Hmm. I'm going to see if I can intercept these guys. Okay. 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 Win the Salzburg. We need the Mecklenburgian siege to complete. I don't really need Neumark. Um, do we need six cannons here for the full bonus? Oh, we do actually, so never mind. Leave them here for now. It makes sense. Morovia. We've got a lot of numbers. Still no actual leader sitting here yet. No call for peace as of yet. How's my actual war exhaustion? It could potentially be reduced. I think I'm going to save the points for now. Actually negotiate the peace. Ertz is ours. This is ours. Uh, national decline. With this cover previously known continents, yada, 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 we can get 10% more tech cost for 10 years. Well, honestly, I'm not sure we're going to be able to increase our tech cost, our military tech, that soon. We are so far ahead that this is probably okay. Um, the diplomatic tech cost doesn't matter as much either because we've got to put in some trade ideas or some diplomatic ideas, not to mention negotiate this peace and annex some people. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the diplomatic technology cost increase by 10 I think that's least likely to actually affect us. We still haven't caught these freakers. Okay, conversions are happening. We can actually convert some more people. Essex, flip you back over there. We have a lot of pop-ups. Still no military leader we can hire? No. Various peace offers. Some of these might be worthwhile, actually. Um, Saxony, for example. Oh, it's so hard because I'm so tempted to just eat everything especially in terms of vassalizing 106 son of a bitch really i can't vassalize you i don't know if you're um you might not be a co-belligerent so that might be the price i could shrink you down i think i should just ease them out just just get rid of them we could break some relationships, but I'm not even sure that's important. Release Thuringia doesn't seem particularly handy to me. Um, we're going to wait, because I'm, I want to see exactly what kind of peace deals I can negotiate across the board. I'm going to try to hold out as long as possible. Try to get the best amount of stuff possible. Uh, 
Um, cheaper tech cost. I think cheaper ships actually makes more sense right now, just because we technically want to build some ships. Not sure it really matters. Five years, we're not going to be getting a new tech anyway, so I'll just take the ship one and we'll see what happens. Free thinkers is expired, which is kind of sucky. And hand over any other enemy territory over here we can take. Because we own all this. We can go over to Galera. But that's really not part of our... Our, our plans in any way whatsoever. Tell you what, why don't you just go to, say, like, Danzig or something like that? And you... Maybe you can catch this guy. 27th. Yeah, you will, actually. Good. That's very handy. Siege of Stettin is over. Nice. So you go to Hinterpommern. Do-do-do. There's no reason for me to be sieging the Austrian stuff, other than it mostly just lets me keep an eye on Austria and make sure they're not coming up to mess up my stuff. Internal conflict, somewhere I don't care about. Which is basically everywhere in the world that's not my immediate target. I'm on the siege of Bohemia, which is very handy. And we've got that done. So, how come we're still getting attritioned over here? Because they have fully defensive. It's so annoying. We have a big army over there. Uh, Marienburg's not being sieged properly. I'm going to go ahead and move everyone up into Poland. And what we may do is actually rush some of these sieges down. Just to make sure they get finished. And I to get Marienburg finished as well. Because that's actually one of the things I would like to take. Are you still in a three-way war? Yeah. Good. Marienburg, Danzig, Mecklenburg. Lots of things that I want up here on the coast. Random battle, that doesn't matter. Here, let's go and take another battle over here. Because we can. If we can get everything around the Baltic, it would be a beautiful thing. And that might be our number one priority. There's some sexy stuff over here. We have to be a little bit worried about overextension. Not so much aggressive expansion, it's the overextension I'm more concerned with. How many troops do they actually have here? 2,000, so if we can get a handful more dudes up there, we can really just rush it and then end the war a little bit sooner. I mean, we're, ta we're taking enough losses just from the attrition that there's something to be said about rushing this. So right now, we're not quite um, 20 or 10 to 1. We're getting close. We do have to wait for the walls to break ideally, which really makes a big difference on the siege. But hopefully, by the time everyone arrives, the walls will be down. That is not a concern. Try to finish this stuff, certainly. There's something to be said about maybe I should keep some extra bodies around here. Just to make sure, because Mecklenburg is, is pretty important. Religious zeal is expired, internal conflict somewhere I don't care about. Um, mighty fortress, yada yada yada. France hopefully will beat the crap out of Austria and keep them busy. Are these Polish? Yeah, Polish troops over there too. Finally won the Siege of Mecklenburg. Lovely. And why don't you guys go and just reinforce Oldenburg? Just to make sure nothing untowards happens over there. Bohemia is not a concern. Still got points. I'm worried we're not going to have enough Diplo power to get all the peace, all the deals that we want. Have we shattered the walls yet? No. We have huge numbers. We really need the walls to break. We've got the full plus five from the artillery, which is nice. Armor wall. I don't think any of these sieges are about to go. Looks like, yep, yeah, the French have been winning their battles. Excellent. Very excellent. Go ahead and move you over here. Come on, break the walls. This is a lot of attrition we're soaking here. And it's winter. Excellent. That is entirely not what I want. We still don't have our ticking war score, which is funny. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So we don't have to do any damage to uh, anyone who's in the coalition. So Austria, Oldenburg, uh, we can't do that. The Palatinate, Utrecht, all those we can't separate peace out. We already have 100% war score against Brandenburg, so that doesn't matter. But we can separate peace out Poland and East Frisia if we want. The question will be... Um, when we talk to Brandenburg, can we just ask Brandenburg for Mecklenburg and Oldenburg? 
In which case, that would be pretty sexy. And I think that we could. Breach the walls! God damn it. Now, I don't think they're going to resiege anything or win any battles or anything of the sort. We should be groovy. Everything should be fine. Breach the walls. Actually, breach the walls anywhere and I'll move my troops around. I mean, we're getting uh, siege progress, which is nice. We got some nice pluses going on. But it's level two, level two, level two. Okay, that's not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Come on. All right, speed three. Go, go. I want to take... I want to end this war in this video, ideally. Yay! Okay, we just won that siege. 49%. Good. Uh, does anything else have a... Um, have a core belonging... They've got a claim over here, which is nice. And a claim over here as well. Which might be worth doing. What about over here? Oh! We should give this back to the Teutonic Order. Let's move you over here. We might be able to, because they're my vassal, so I can make the Tonic Order basically as strong as I'm, I want. And it's all going to be good. We still have no call for peace. We won the Siege of Danzig, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and stand some people near this place to potentially rush. Navy's under attack in a completely irrelevant way. Bam, bam. Do, 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 do. Supply shortage. Yeah, we should make some really fast progression there. None of these things are about to be unsieged. No rebel problems yet. No call for peace yet. Uh, Danzig. Now, I siege, which is why I think it's there, but I definitely want to transfer the control of Danzig to the Teutonic Order. Interpommen. They have a claim. So, core, 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 claim, and that's it. So, this is the only thing that um, the Teutonic Order would have to core if I give it to them. So, I think that's still fine, given that. A lot of it is just returning cores, which is just beautiful and gorgeous. Oh, the walls are breached. Go ahead and send everyone there and just... Actually, it's going to tick so fast. Yeah, let's go. End this. Might not be smart, but we're going to do it anyway. Boop. Mighty Fortress is there. Okay. I think this is what we're looking for. Um, maybe, unfortunately, I'm sad to say this. I think I will put a cut in here so that I can sort of piece together exactly what the correct piece deal is. And then we're going to continue this in the next episode. Hopefully, I have figured everything out properly. And I think the breathing time is going to be good. Piece deals are tricky. You never want to F that up. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.